Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we're going to be playing King's Quest 2. This is the AGD Interactive updated version of the game. We're going to go ahead and start doing some exploration. So we've gotten a bunch of information uh, and we've gotten a protective ring I think it is and cloak. The black cloak would fit a taller man than you. I think this is all the stuff we'll need. We also have this you Bible page. You read the Bible page again. Silently with newfound skill, Riley souls naughtily steal. Huh. A weird way to state things. I hear that's randomized too. It might be a clue to something here. I said nobody but the priest in one of the further back episodes um, was able to know what to do in regards to the swamp. So I'm going to go ahead and venture to guess that that page that fell out is some kind of a clue in regards to it. I don't remember exactly. I think this might be the way to go in. We'll see here. Yeah, there's no way further up to go. So we're going to go ahead and try stepping into the swamp. Hopefully, it's not too dangerous for us. This is going to go see my game because <laughs> every time I do anything. So. Um, this way? There we go. Now, from what I understand, you can't navigate this, like I said. So, we'll see what happens. If I can't go that way, let's go. I'll probably end up getting me lost or killed, but we'll give it a shot, take a quick walk around. I think I have a clue. See, it's funny because even though I'm into the swamp, I would technically be in the town area right now. I bet if I go enough screens, I'm going to end up getting killed and all of this. Or I'm just going to accidentally find my way across. <clears throat> Which will be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to be super freaking lost. Looks like I'm on the other side of a room. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> okay. You feel the poisonous water seeping into your skin. Its potency takes effect immediately, and you perish within seconds. All right, all right. Well... I have an idea from it, okay, so I'm thinking because the priest is able to do this uh, and it's not a problem for him. I'm thinking that this has something you to do with the You read the Bible puzzle. page again. If you look each Silently letter, with new S -S -W -N. In Riley souls S -W -S -N. not to steal. S. So, let me get a piece of paper so I can write that down for myself real quick. Still, so, it looks like we need to go southwest, north, southwest, south, north, south. See if that works. Hopefully it will. We enter the swamp this way. It gets dark in this fog rolling through. So let's try south, west, north, which you would think would be the fucking circle. South, West, South, North, and South. Let's see, back up North, back down South. There we go. I got us something. From here, you cannot make out much detail. However, it is unquestionably a castle. Hmm. We'll go save this shit before we go in there. It's not going to be good. Fucking vampires and werewolves and stuff out here. Oh, oh. The shrouded ghoul looks very frightening. His hands are little more than claws, and his face is nearly completely hidden inside the hood of the shroud. He is standing in a small boat. Well, we got a couple of coins. That's usually what you give to the ferryman if you want to get across, so let's go ahead and pay him and see if he'll let us the cross. The boatman accepts your payment and motions for you to climb into the boat. Hopefully I have no problems crossing. I well, thank you, ferryman. We're going across the, the river. The shrouded sticks, ghoul huh? paddles across the toxic lake to the shore on the other side. All right. This area is cold and ominous. Up ahead, dark towers rise from a sinister castle. The path leading up to the entrance is lined with deadly thorns and thick brambles. 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save because I have a feeling this is one of the fucking walking puzzles. I don't think I can just go. It would be safer to walk. Ouch! Oh. You feel the sharp brambles graze your skin. Your vision blurs and you begin to feel lightheaded. Oh, yeah, okay. You feel a heavy coldness run through your entire body. Soon you are unable to stand. Finally, even your eyes become too heavy to keep open, and they close for the last, for the last time. time. Alright. So, let's try using the ring. The ring is gold with an enormous red ruby. The word beloved is engraved inside the gold band. You are now wearing the beautiful ruby ring. The black cloak is a fine garment. It feels thick and warm. The inside is lined with red satin. The black... Can I wear it? Okay, well, let's see what happens if I go this time. Ouch! Nope. It wasn't the ring. You feel a heavy coldness run through your entire... Hmm, let's see what we can do here. Let me think. Let's see if we can try to put on both. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do the other one. Where... You are now aware... The ruby ring and this one... With a flourish, there you we fling go. the black cloak around your myself. neck and fasten it. Ouch! You feel the sharp brambles graze your skin. Your vision blur. Okay, cool. So that's not gonna make a difference. You feel a heavy coldness run through your. In we'll get all of that on though. Anyway, let me get back to the edge here so it's safe. Take a look. What else do we have? This odd circular device intrigues you. It depicts several different That's symbols. That's for a puzzle, I know for sure. Well, those are our diamonds. We have a crucifix could help or something. It looks like a normal sugar cube. It does have a bit of sparkle, though. It feels grainy. Let's try that. After swallowing the magic sugar cube, you get a feeling of invincibility. There we go. All right, let's walk up there. The sharp thorns brush against your skin. However, instead of feeling intense pain, you only experience a slight tingling sensation. Evidently, the magic sugar cube did its job. There we go. While I'm at it, let's put this ring on. You are now with Find the beautiful ring and put this cloak on With too. a flourish. That way we look like we're supposed to be here. Deceive anyone who comes by. Deceive any creatures we find. The ghosts waver, as if being threatened by even the slightest breeze. Yet something holds them in place. It may be nothing more than an intensely strong determination or sense of purpose that keeps the spirits anchored to this world. All right, all right. The main entrance to the castle is a set of heavy wooden doors. It looks to be fairly solid. It also looks to be entirely unwelcoming. <laughs> of course. We'll touch the door. As you there. approach the ghosts wearing okay, the black cloak, goodness. they seem ah, to notice you cloak. and then begin to drift away towards the cemetery. See, I'm glad I had it on. I figured all the stuff she gave me is everything I'm going to need. So they would have probably attacked if I didn't. Uh, As you reach to push the massive doors I didn't open, have my cloak on. you realize there are no handles. The only thing visible is a small keyhole which slightly resembles a cross. That would probably be my crucifix, because the only thing I've got in my inventory that cross-shaped. Let's try that. Okay. Having an idea, you push the crucifix into the cross-shaped keyhole. It fits. You hear a click, and the door unlocks. Mm -hmm. Now we can go in? You push the heavy wooden door open, take a deep breath, and step nervously inside the castle entrance. <sighs> Creepy. No. <laughs> the moment you enter the great hall of the castle, you oh, begin man. shivering uncontrollably, and not just from the cold. This place has an air of death wherever you go. Oh, nice. You oh, shit. I didn't mean to skip that. I was going to look. Look at these pictures. The portraits on the wall depict the couple who once lived here. They look young and proud. I wonder if Behind it's the, old the mask lady of apathy husband. that comes with aristocracy, there's a certain kindness in their eyes. Oh. You should leave the portraits here. They may well be missed. And that being the case, you might go missing as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The fireplace looks as if it has not been used in quite a long time. You shudder, both from the cold 
and from the thought that the resident likely has no need of a warm house. Especially if it's a vampire like the one we had before. The, the priest, I think, is a vampire or a werewolf the last time I'd seen him. Let's go up these stairs and see what we can find up here. A torch has been mounted to the wall here. It does little to cheer up the place, even when lit. An old shovel rests against the stone wall. It looks well used. Hmm, let's take it. You take the shovel into your possession. <laughs> Weirdly worded. Let's light our candle we have, too. You hold your candle up to the blazing torch. It catches. Your candle is now lit. All right. Alternate save, just in case that candle melts or something. Let's go up and see what's up at the top of this tower. Or staircase, should I say. I don't even know if it's a tower. Yeah, it is a tower. The window looks out onto the island far below. Through it, you see that the bricks of the castle might provide some footholds if you are inclined to go climbing. Hmm. Let's not do that yet and go explore the rest. Everything that seems like something big is about to happen is probably a good idea not to do just immediately. Let's go check the other staircase and see if there's anything of interest over there. And up the other side. <laughs> I look so regal in my black cape. It is a long dining table completely covered with dust. Scratches scar the legs of the table. Oh, animals. We got some pets trying to trying to uh, fly for some scraps. A foul stench wafts up from the gloomy darkness into which the stairs descend. Oh, that sounds ominous. These ones are going down. Let's go see. Oh, shit. I clicked again to get walking. And I skipped another one. Where does this go? Oh, look the at this. The lid of the beautifully carved coffin is closed. Open it. The thick black cloak that you are wearing hampers your efforts to lift the coffin lid. Try removing the cloak first. Okay. You remove the black cloak again. Now let's try to open it. Nervously, you lift the heavy lid of the elegant coffin. Oh, you peek into its red satin interior. The okay. coffin is unoccupied, and you feel relief wash over you. <laughs> As you prepare to look inside the coffin... King Graham, I presume. Oh, shit. You turn on your heel. There, blocking the only exit from this dismal room, stands the Count. His skin is pale, his eyes jet black. He wears a black cloak nearly identical to the one that you possess. Uh-oh. You know me? Ah, yes indeed. Sister mm. Tagatha alerted me to your arrival, dear King. Desperate to stall for time. You query the Count. Sister Hagatha, you say? <laughs> Who is she? The Count regards you with a suspicious glare. Though I suspect you already know the answer, Hagatha is a charming mage who does as she pleases in this land. Strange. I was not aware a new ruler had been elected. Do not be foolish. Uh. Hagatha has no interest in the politics of this wretched place. Nor do I, in point of fact. Death tends to diminish one's taste for power. No. At present, she is interested only in one thing. As am I. Your destruction. Uh-oh. Keep on talking to him. The Count no longer appears interested oh, in humoring your delay tactics. The Count... Oh, shit. Okay. In an instant, you are flat against the wall. The Count has you pinned Almost so well, you can't <laughs> move a muscle, much less put up a defense. Get off of me! 
You can feel the Count's iron-cold hand on your throat. You have barely seconds before the inevitable happens. But we have this ring for protection, so let's use this thing. It's the newest thing we've got. We've got to try it out at least. With difficulty, you manage to loosen the ruby ring from your finger and drop it to the floor. The Count's eyes dart to it quickly, then flash angrily back to you. Oh, yeah? Where did you get that? Oh, old lady gave it to me. The elderly woman who lives in a house to the south of here, near the beach. She gave it to me for helping her. Yes. The Count regards you for a moment. His dark eyes bore unendingly into yours, and you feel as if your very soul is bare. What do you know of her? <laughs> That's his girl. She is not well. Yeah, she needs help. I know. Do you think I am not aware of that? You are sweating profusely. Hopefully, oh, this Lord, vampire doesn't find the odor appetizing. Night is the most dangerous of times for my mortal family. I have oh. kept constant vigil over my wife for many years, so that from the darkness, no harm would come to her. But she's dying when anyway. What are you gonna comes, do? We will be together forever. That's an old I think tonight will be the night. I have seen her this very eve. I did what I could to help her, but I do not think it was enough. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, man? You gonna kill me? I helped you. Hmm. Okay. As you watch the giant bat fly out of the room, you realize with dread that the Count has confiscated your crucifix. Might be Without it, you are trapped yeah. in this castle. Now, what are you going to do? Oh. Well, I wanted to look at this coffin in the first place. You peer into the ornate coffin. Finding it unoccupied, you see that the interior is lined with a shiny red satin. Take that pill. Oh. At long oh, there last, you, go. So you have located the final gem, <laughs> the death gem. Now he's got to figure out how to get out of here. My gem. You breathe deeply, reach out, and take the stone in your hands. It is ice cold to the touch, but you don't care. This is the last thing you need to unlock the door of destiny. Now all you have to do is get out of here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I'm going to save this here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.